Africa, 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 you keep blowing me away. Welcome to Mauritius. Cheers. No way that you can jump from one to the other. You're not a good bar, mate. I know, it's coming in. We have definitely found the turquoise waters. Another amazing beach. Cheers. Let me you for a beer. Africa, Africa, Africa. You keep blowing me away from one extreme of the African continent to the next, from Algeria to Mauritius. We actually headed home after two weeks exploring it, the North African country of Algeria. Changed our clothes to something that was a little bit more beach appropriate and took the 12 hour direct flight with Air Mauritius to this paradise island of just over one million people. We are actually staying at the Le Jadis Hotel and we're gonna be on this island for the next week before then heading to the little sister of Mauritius for one week. So we picked up our car from the airport, which we're very happy about. We never get a car and make the most of a destination. We feel like this island, we can do a full loop and see everything that this melting pot of cultures has to offer. But it's a little bit later in the day, it's a little bit dark, it's a little bit gloomy, but that doesn't matter because we are in blooming Mauritius. We need to show you where we're staying. Welcome to Mauritius. Cheers. Cheers. This is the way to start your trip in Mauritius. We got treated to a little bit of Prosecco, which is lovely. And this is our beautiful balcony here at Le Jadis. I can't believe we're at the home or the original home of the Dodos. Yeah, unfortunately we won't be able to see one, but there's a lot of other things on this beautiful volcanic island that we can see. And as you can look out over our balcony, we have a lagoon view, I suppose you could call it. We have a heated pool, we have a pool bar. I'd say beach as well. We've already spotted that. We have the beach, all the beautiful palm trees, and look at that sea view. Amazing. Massive balcony. Like, it's as big as the room. I feel and like I have to put my glass down a minute. <laughs> Hold on to it very tightly. We have a huge, like, triple, is it a bigger bed than a king? It feels like it. Um, our desk area, a little sofa area, which I think is really cute. This, oh my god, check out the bathroom. We have... It's very traditional. Yeah, a, like a traditional wooden bathroom, but we have our two showers and we have a freestanding bath, which I absolutely love. All of our coffee and tea making facilities. Our bathroom is round the corner. This is Hold an on, absolutely down, unreal... It it's down. <laughs> I'm having to grip mine. This is an absolutely unreal, huge room. Um, and I'm just so excited to be on this island. We haven't really got that long today as we got here quite late this afternoon so we're going to make the most of what we do have left of daylight and that right behind me I think is the main restaurant here I think there's like three or four that's Salia where we'll be having breakfast and one of our dinners I think I think we're going to try and have a dinner in a different restaurant each day and this is the main port apparently one is heated one is not and there's a swim up bar there's a swim up bar if there's a swim up bar that could be me for the week like, come all the way to Mauritius, 12 hour flight, sit me in a swim up bar, I'm a happy man. I like you're the only one crazy enough to get in the cold <laughs> pool, not the heated pool. Um, at the time of filming, this is like July, so technically it's their winter, um, but for us it's still like 24, 25 degrees, which is very warm. I know the pool is not going to be warm because the sun's not shining, um, but I'm obsessed with the style of the place. It has like thatched roofs. Like, I don't know, I, I don't know the style, but you, when you see it, you just know that you're in like a tropical beach destination. Traditional tropical. Traditional tropical. Only bad point, I think, I think the smart bar's closed. Oh, I think maybe. it's too cold for the smart bar. I think maybe it's a bit cold for the smart bar. I'll firm it. I'm so happy If the sun it. comes out, we're in it. <laughs> I love this style though, it's very unique. You've got like your own beach that leads down into the main pool. The smart bar that I'm sure I'll see you soon once you open. And that there is, I think, the heated pool, the one that we should be in. Once that sun comes out, me and that swim up bar, we are going to meet, but we should have definitely gone into the, the heated pool, the cold one. There's a reason that no one was in it, but welcome to the Indian Ocean. Can we just appreciate the backdrop of this hotel? There's actually a spot for lunch that you can have 
and you sit in the pool in your table and chairs, like up to your legs, like high up, and eat your lunch, but Indian Ocean. I'm obsessed with the style. I know I just said it, but now you can actually see that even like the uh, the umbrellas on the beach are that shape. There's little cabanas that are like open holes with things. And look at this, an old fashioned. I think like they used to sell like ice cream in these, but you can actually grab your towel, head off to one of your little thatched roof umbrellas and chill on the beach. Hello. Hello how are you? Emma, um, what beers do you have? Do you have any Mauritian beers? A Blue Marlins, it's a local one. Otherwise, we have Sesti Fox. Oh. Fox, uh, raspberry, uh, local. Oh my god, you that have sounds a lot. so interesting. How many local beers are there? <laughs> Which one is the best? Oh, there's yeah. a lot. I was expecting like one. I was expecting one, yeah. Wow, what have we got uh, here? Thirsty Fox. Pale ale, yeah. raspberry vice, and a lager, Mauritian craft beer. Can we get one blue marlin yeah. and yes. one of the thirsty fox lager? Sure, yeah, sure. That Thank is so you. cool. I didn't even yeah. know. And I have a question. How do you cheers in Mauritian? Cheers. You just say cheers. Cheers. Okay. There's no, no. nothing. Yeah. Okay. No. Just cheers. Yes. Cheers. Ching ching. So apparently <laughs> it's just cheers in Mauritius, and we have a thirsty fox, a Mauritian craft beer, and. A blue marlin that's from. Six percent. Yeah, sake. that's pokey Molly. You're going to be drunk. Six <laughs> percent for Molly, but I didn't even know Mauritius did craft beer. I feel like this is always the first stop in a new destination. Try out the local beer, and it's the way to my heart. It's lovely. Look at this: beachfront restaurant, seafood restaurant, bar. A bit cloudy, a bit rainy. But we have a Mauritian craft beer. <laughs> so welcome to Suliaba from the beach bar we had to quickly get changed because we had an appointment with the main barman here Rubesh um, we are actually doing a cocktail making class and I am so excited he's just asked me my preferences I've basically said pink anything with alcohol and sweet. It's pink. anything with alcohol yeah, <laughs> so Rubesh has basically said that we need to make a curacao with daiquiri. a daiquiri so with a curacao and a beluga vodka and vodka yeah. put ice in my little cup yeah, glass yeah. even already. simple syrup we'll get the fresh lime juice so we're apparently having to do 50 ml yeah. and a half so 75 milliliters yes. of vodka to get good taste yes. in here yeah so like this yeah oh it's coming out yeah oh. you're not a good bar mate i know it's Okay. Shake it until it gets cold. Okay. Yeah. Shake it until it gets cold. Yeah. Okay. And this is my finished article. All that daiquiri. hard work. All the hard work that it's goes a, into it. Vodka daiquiri. Um, a what? Vodka daiquiri. Vodka daiquiri. Okay, I'm going to taste it without yeah. the shop. Oh, it's good. Good. I like the syrup. Yeah. yeah. Lots so of syrup. The, yeah. The syrup yeah. is actually grown here That's in Mauritius this. from the sugar canes yeah. um, and it's really nice. It, it's sweet, sour, yeah. limey from the fresh limes here. Yeah. We did a good job. Sure. This is going to be dangerous. <laughs> Chili in a cocktail. Like this? Yes. You go, man. <laughs> <laughs> a spicy pink pigeon salsa. Cheers. The vanilla is from Madagascar, the rum from Mauritius and the spice. It's nice, it's subtle. Yeah. It's subtle. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. We've just had some sushi. We weren't meant to be going for dinner, but Rabish has made me a beer cocktail. I mean, if this not made for me, then I don't know what is. The sun has finally decided to rear its head. Good morning from paradise. Look at this. Look at this. That is ridiculous. Look at this view. Last night we definitely had one too many cocktails at the cocktail making class, but it was holiday day. The first day, bit of jet lag. We're treating that as our holiday. We then had dinner. Only we would come to a fancy restaurant and order from the kids menu. I bet they're good though. Worth it. Cocktail and kitchen menu. <laughs> Got up bright and early this morning and tried some of the Indian fusion that makes up the Mauritian cuisine. 
the Indian influence in Mauritian cuisine is definitely coming through in the breakfast this morning. An amazing view and finally some sun. But today isn't holiday day. We're getting in our rental car and we're going to try and explore as much of this beautiful island as possible. It's like a postcard. And this is the little beauty that's going to be getting us around the island. Let's do this. We actually picked up our little car straight from the airport with Easy Cab Mauritius. Um, it took us about 45 minutes to get to our hotel. We didn't get to appreciate the views at all yesterday because of the rain. So today we can actually look out and see the landscape. In fact, it would take you six hours to drive a full circle of this island. I might Just... be wrong, I think. I'm, I, I'm probably wrong. I think it's the third or fourth smallest country in Africa. It Don't just quote puts it into perspective. It, <laughs> Can I have two tickets, please? Thank you. Our first stop of the day, which was actually only like 10 minutes from our hotel, is the Pample Mousses Botanical Gardens. This dates back to the French period, back in the 1700s. Um, and there's a few attractions that we want to see. It's not going to be a long stop. We're just going to have a little walk around. We've just seen the um, chateau. We've seen the chateau, which is uh, an old colonial building. Colonial building, yeah. And uh, now we're looking for a giant water lily pond. I just love the landscapes here though. I don't know why, but it reminds me a little bit of Hawaii. Yeah, I think it's all the trees, the funky trees. This one looks like ropes. And this was the main reason that we came here and paid the five pound entrance fee each to see the giant water lily pond. I want to step on them. I think that's probably a bad what, idea. Like stepping stones to yeah, the other end. Like reckon you can do it? No, I reckon you'd just sink right in, but it's, it's such a good photo spot. So these were actually founded in 1801 and were dedicated to Queen Victoria, but apparently they are incredibly delicate, so there is no way that you can jump from one to the other. Hello. Hello. Can we have two coconuts, please? Uh, two medium, two big. Uh, medium or big? Medium, I think. How yeah. much is medium? Hundred rupees. Hundred. Okay, okay, perfect. Two, two, please. Two. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye. Cheers. Cheers. Just a forty-five minute drive to the south of the island. We've made it to Flick and Flack Beach, one of the most popular beaches, um, and we picked up a coconut from Cher, Cher's Mimi, a tiny little stall. It was uh, 100 rupees each, so one pound is 60 Mauritian rupees. So one pound 50 a coconut. Not too bad, and they are so delicious. We have definitely found the turquoise waters. The 45 minute drive was definitely worth it. I'm actually surprised at how developed the roads are here but you need to be careful there are speed cameras and police with speed guns absolutely everywhere and there aren't many signs telling you whether it's 60 80 or 110 kilometers an hour i think so it's a bit of a guessing game but the further you walk along flick and flack it becomes a little bit more built up with hotels resorts and you can see in the distance the beautiful green topped mountains that's the image of mauritius that i had in my head honestly the most stunning beach i think we have ever seen you have like three different mountain views that you can get from here um the beautiful crystal clear water the sand is actually white here i thought the sand was a little bit darker but in different parts of the island it's a lot whiter and we've yeah. found like our own this we've is like the private beach before the fancy resort next to us unreal Mountains, palm trees, crystal clear water. I'm going top three beaches we've ever been. Yeah, I mean, what do you class as number one? That is the question. But it could be number one. I'm, th I'm thinking it's, of, it's a of, close second. And supposedly or first. this isn't 
the best beach. Supposedly the best beach is somewhere behind. Behind there, but this is this is amazing. That is a very difficult beach to leave, but apparently the next one that we're heading to, even further south of the island, is the best in the whole of Mauritius. And I love the fact that so far, everywhere you go, you can park your car and it's free. Okay, we may have saved the best till last. Welcome to Le Morne Beach in the very southern peninsula of Mauritius. This is famous because of the Le Morne mountain, cliff, whatever you want to call it, behind me. And then further down the beach, look at these turquoise waters. There's actually an underwater waterfall, which you can see if you do a private jet, helicopter, you can go above it and you can see the underwater waterfall, which is a phenomenon, but I mean, welcome to paradise, look at that. Right behind, that has got to be the best backdrop you're gonna find. Another amazing beach, free parking, a free public beach, and look at this backdrop. I think this does take number one position from the last beach. And the fact and you're on a peninsula, one. And there's an underwater peninsula. waterfall. Yeah, I mean, I wish we could go and see that from above, but this is just as good. We are pretty much saving ourselves to swim here and I'm so glad we did. Look at that view and the crystal clear, oh there's like a weirdo floating here, the crystal clear blue water. <gasps> God, did you didn't tell me it was cold. So you can actually hike and climb to the top of that mountain, cliff, whatever you want to call it, to get views of the peninsula. But why would you want to do that <laughs> when you can come here come in the crystal clear water grab a beer rather than hiking for flipping two hours Sounds sweating better. come to paradise i actually do need well, i do need a beer thank you so much thank you my friend thank you. Oh, cheers thank you so the plan was actually to head to one more spot before the day finished and show you somewhere else. But we took plan B. We <laughs> headed into the only beach bar that we could find that was open to have a Phoenix beer. Apparently this is the beer of Mauritius and we're gonna head to the spot tomorrow because we can chill at the beach, watch the sunset. Drink a good beer. I mean beer or go somewhere else. <laughs> I'm having a beer and watching the sunset. Cheers. Not a bad cheers. cheers. Blooming view for a beer. Not a bad view at all. And actually, we were escorted by security here for some very expensive. We were begging for a beer. We were basically begging, begging to sit down to watch the sunset. Things close very early. It's island life. Um, but five pound a local beer. It's quite expensive. Well, like we though. made the right choice. We did. Beer over more adventure. Yeah, this is definitely the right choice. And that was our first 48 hours in paradise. I probably wouldn't recommend driving back on the roads at night. They are not lit up whatsoever, but we made it back to the hotel. We tried out the Thai restaurant. Cheers. I was absolutely stuffed. And we also went into the spa, jacuzzi, whirlpool type thing. It was really, really cool. But on reflection, I actually think of the two beaches I would recommend Flick and Flack more than Le Morne. Le Morne was a lot of resorts, whereas Flick and Flack, there was a lot of like local restaurants, you could stay there, there was reasonably priced hotels. And we also found out that there is no such thing as a private beach in Mauritius. So you can walk out onto any beach in any five-star hotel and you can go there. So you could stay in a 10 pound, a $10 a night hotel, and then go to the 1,000 pound a night hotel and lay on their beach. Little trick. But I have loved my first few days exploring the island, showing you the best beaches to visit on the island. But we have a few more days and we're gonna actually be checking out the capital city, which is, from what I've heard, not what you would expect. So I will see you in the next one from Mauritius.